Well, Valentine's Day is here again. Happy Valentine's, by the way. No, mm. gross and sweaty from running. This is always a tricky time for men. And what makes it even more challenging this year is that it falls on a Saturday. As you know, I had planned a traditional evening of romance and gifts. Yes, and as you know, I planned to pretend to enjoy it. When Valentine's Day falls during the work week, men usually have no problem finessing it, you know, with something like, you know, like candy or flowers or trinkets or something from the underwear family. But when it falls on a Saturday, you have to add the kind of romantic candlelight dinner into the mix. Would you like the four-course sweethearts menu or the eight-course eternal love? Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Is there like a one-course uh, only dating for two weeks, but it looks promising option. And what makes it even more complicated this year is that UConn men are playing at 9 o'clock. To their credit, men will give Valentine's Day their best shot, as they always do. Unfortunately, this is both the good news and the bad news. A uh, recent survey by the website whatsmyprice.com found that 77% of women in Connecticut will not be getting what they want for Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, it's a... Ah, another sword. Thank you, Peter. Go ahead, try it on. And just what do Connecticut women want? According to the survey, more than 75% say jewelry. And just what do Connecticut men think Connecticut women want? Some 64% say lingerie. <whistles> when Valentine's Day gifts are assessed by age, those 20 to 35, you know, go with lingerie, those, you know, 36 to like 69, you know, prefer flowers. And men 70 above choose jewelry. Broken down by income, men in the like $40,000 a year range will give jewelry. And men in like every other income range, I mean all the way up to a million dollars, say it with flowers. Anybody can be Prince Charming one day a year with the dinner and the flowers and all that. But you know what impresses me? When a guy can do that no days a year. According to the survey, you know what women in 18 states said that they preferred to get as a Valentine's Day gift? No, it wasn't flowers, and it wasn't jewelry, and it wasn't fancy underwear. You know what it was? A gift card. Huh? I mean, other than cash, is there anything more unromantic than a gift card for Valentine's Day? Unless, of course, it's for Victoria's Secrets.